Welcome to the study of English. This is Captain Vinay Varagil, Assistant Professor, Department of English, St. Joseph's College, Dev Gri Kodukod. In the previous lectures, we have studied about the consonants and the vowels. We studied about the syllables. We studied about the syllabic structure. We know about the nucleus of the syllable. We have learned almost everything about the uh, phonetics and now of course uh, recently we also studied some of the important phonetic concepts like the elision and assimilation and uh, today we are going to discuss another very important area and this very important area will help us definitely to improve our English, the spoken English. And what is the significance of this particular area we study, which is known as supra segmentals? We are discussing a new topic today supra segmentals. Supra is, of course, right uh, uh, beyond supra segmentals. Segmentals are, of course, elements. Supra segmentals, uh, segmentals rather. Okay, beyond the segmenters. All right. And here, when in phonetics we discuss, discuss supra segmenters, we have to understand the fact that the vowels and the consonants that we have studied are just primary phonemes or segmental phonemes. Okay. So they are just primary phonemes and segmental phonemes, and they just help us to produce speech segments like uh, we uh, right, produce we have the letters of the alphabet with the letters of uh, the uh, alphabet rather with combinations of the letters of the alphabet we produce words phrases clauses and sentences right and uh, in addition to this uh, th this particular uh, combinatorial arrangements like combinations like uh, words, phrases, clauses, etc. There are some very important features that affect the speech sounds and those important features that affect the speech or speech sounds or the very way one speaks is what is known as supra segmentals or supra segmental features and now we have to understand the fact that the supra segmental features are also called secondary phonemes supra segmental features are also called number one prosodic features okay also called prosodic features number two also called secondary phonemes okay so this is in fact an introductory lecture on supra segmental features and we are understanding what we mean by supra segmentals or what we mean by supra segmental features and supra segmentals are of course uh, important features that uh, we have to consider when it comes to connected speech especially continuous speech rather spoken english and the supra segmentals are known as prosodic features or secondary phonemes and there are in fact five important supra segmental features or prosodic features or secondary phonemes primary phonemes are the 44 sounds like the 20 vowels and the 24 consonants other secondary phonemes are features right and they are stress or accent intonation juncture pitch and rhythm i am just introducing these terms in this lecture i will be giving subsequent lectures specifically for each or of these supra segmental features okay so this is just an introduction and exam point of view 
the English language and literature students, the students of linguistics must be quite sure about uh, all these speeches and uh, supra segments and they must be prepared to answer essay questions, right? Question like write an essay on the supra segmental features or don't be confused when you see a different question like write an essay on prosodic features or yet another question like write an essay on secondary phonemes the three questions are the same so don't be under any kind of confusion when you answer the question or when you see the question write an essay on supra segmental features write an essay on secondary phonemes write an essay on prosodic features so let us understand i'm just introducing these terms subsequent lectures i'll be of course making separate lectures i'll be lecturing uh, on each of the five uh, supra segmental features supra segmental feature number one is stress or accent stress or accent refers to of course right uh, english is a stress time language and we have uh, uh, lacks of uh, thousands of words in vocabulary items in the language and we have of course monosyllabic and polysyllabic words and the polysyllabic words syllable to syllable are uttered differently with different force or stress or accent and of course we are discussing where does the stress of a polysyllabic word fall where where do we have to stress unless and until we stress the word correctly the listener will not understand the very word we use so we learn stress and it's an important area then we have intonation intonation is of course remember we do not speak in the normal tone all the time the tone is very important we can say all right uh, one thing with uh, of course some emphasis sometimes maybe some kind of uh, high pitch or low pitch and the pitch variations affect the meaning of the sentence and we are discussing different tones or tunes uh, in this section intonation and third is of course juncture the juncture the supra segmental feature is referring to pauses and uh, of course, uh, pause is what we mean by the punctuation marks in, of course, printing or, or, or writing. And different poses we have. Based on the different poses, we have different meanings in a particular context. And we are familiarizing ourselves with different types of junctures or poses and their implications in another lecture on juncture. Yet another lecture on pitch we will discuss what is pitch and i can just define pitch right now pitch is of course the kind of highness or raising of uh, the voice right we speak in a low voice we speak in a high voice and and this kind of uh, speaking uh, uh, in, in different uh, uh, right uh, voices like uh, uh, is, is what is known as frequencies is what is known as pitch and now we come to the last uh, uh, supra segmental feature that is of course rhythm in a subsequent lecture on rhythm we will see rhythm and english is of course a rhythmic language and if you do not have the right kind of rhythm language loses its beauty language loses its life and the language becomes rather futile and useless right so when we are learning a language like english we have to understand the fact that English is a stress time language and all these secondary phonemes or prosodic features or the supra segmental features must be appropriated, assimilated and uh, used by the speaker. Otherwise, the use of the language will not be, of course, successful and effective. And I'm sure that uh, with this kind of lectures, with more discussion and more uh, 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 sincere perseverance or other hard work from our side from the side of anybody one can improve the english and of course uh, with this i just come to the end of the introductory lecture on supra segmentals and uh, subsequent lectures of course we will learn each of these five supra segmental features we will be having five video lectures for 
discussing and understanding the supra segmental features thank you very much for listening and god bless each of you